Hey everybody, it's Connor McBride for Tech Jury, and this is your Saturday Recap Newscast. This week, we celebrated some game reveals, some weird tech issues slash fails, and some cool new integrations. We're now officially three weeks away from E3, where gamers around the world will watch in awe as developers show off some upscaled, great cinematic game footage that will never make it into the final product. Let's get right into the things you missed this week. Popular story game studio Telltale Games announced via blog post that they'd be delaying Wolf Among Us Season 2 until 2019. The games are based on Bill Willingham's Fables comic series, and the game was supposed to be set to appear in later 2018. The company stated they are very happy with how the game looks so far, but they needed a little bit of extra time to work on quality and deliver new ways to tell their stories. They cited the main reason for the delay is restructuring and changes within the Telltale office, and we hope that this extra time gives them a great sequel to a wonderful series. Popular esports personality and game critic John Bain, better known by his alias Total Biscuit, has unfortunately passed away. The prolific YouTuber was struck with bowel cancer in 2014, and although he fought hard, was in remission, and most recently seemed to be doing a lot better, it came back after nearly four years. Well wishes were seen across the Twitterverse, with friends and past colleagues speaking kindly to his memory. We wish his family well in their grieving. If you've been getting a ton of privacy policy emails from companies you don't even remember signing up for, you have the new GDPR policy to thank. The EU Council passed a law that stated any company operating within the EU would need to better manage how they store their customers' privacy data, as well as update their users on how they're collecting that data and have them consent to it. The law went into effect May 25th, 2018, so companies were rushing to get their policies updated on time, as the fines could be anywhere from 20 million to 4% of a company's global turnover, you know, whichever one's higher. And that kind of fine is enough to absolutely destroy a small company or put a small dent into Zuckerberg's pockets. If you want to learn more about everything the GDPR entails, we've added a link in the video description. 17 years ago, Jagex gave us RuneScape the first iteration that's now known as Classic. It was a hangout spot for fantasy MMORPG lovers who weren't playing EverQuest at the time. And although it's gone through major, major updates and a lot of brand new releases, there was actually still kind of a decent player base up to this date. Unfortunately for them, Jagex announced that they'd be shutting down PC servers for Classic on August 6, 2018. According to the team, there was just too big of a backlog of game-breaking issues and their new tools just couldn't keep up with such old systems. We'll be sad to see it go, but once it is gone, will you guys be moving on to old school or taking the plunge all the way to RS3? Let us know in the comments below. The Steam Link mobile app has been in beta on Android for about a month now successfully, but its launch on iOS is seeing some troubles. According to Valve, after initially approving the app, Apple came back to deny the application citing business conflicts and then denied the subsequent appeal that Valve put forth. Apple has not yet responded publicly to why they've denied the app, but it may have something to do with them not getting their sweet, sweet 30% revenue from in-game sales. In their tweet, Valve specifically addressed that there are plenty of other remote desktop apps on the iOS store already, and it doesn't look like this is going to be resolved for them anytime soon. The Steam Link app would allow gamers to launch their games and use the entire Steam interface on their mobile devices with either touchscreen controls or support for Bluetooth controllers. It was supposed to launch on May 24th, 2018 for iOS, but for the foreseeable future, it looks like it's going to be locked for those users. That's all the news we wanted to share with you guys this week. If you want to learn more about the stories we featured, you can check out the links in the video description below. Make sure to check out our older videos from this week to catch up on all the gaming tech news you may have missed. As always, follow us on social so you know when our videos go live, and make sure to leave anything you think is interesting in the comments. 